In this series of training videos, we'll learn all the tips and tricks related to backup and recovery operations of G Suite. This video focuses on setting up operations, whereas in subsequent videos, we'll have a look at the backup and recovery operations of Gmail mailboxes, including calendars and contacts, and user and team drives. Moreover, we'll have a look at backup notarization, an innovative Acronis feature that allows revealing unauthorized changes in the backup files. So let's get started. Acronis Backup Cloud is a powerful hybrid cloud backup solution for managed service providers that protects all their customer systems and mobile devices anytime, anywhere, and faster than anyone else. In turn, G Suite is a sophisticated suite of secure, cloud-based collaboration and productivity applications powered by Google. It includes, but is not limited to, Gmail, Drive, including Team Drive, Calendar, and Contacts. Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with G Suite by means of the Acronis Backup Service application available in the G Suite Marketplace for your convenience. This integration allows you to perform full backup of Gmail mailboxes, including calendars and contacts, and user and team drives. Moreover, it allows conducting full and granular recovery of individual Gmail messages, attachments, files, calendar events, and contacts. Unlike other file-level backup solutions available in the market, the Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to recover the G Suite entities across users, teams, and Google organizations. This is especially beneficial for large companies having many subsidiaries with a high level of employee mobility. Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to dramatically reduce the server load during the backup operations. This is especially important for large companies who have thousands of employee accounts and millions of files stored on their Google Drives. Let's imagine a large company having two subsidiaries represented by two Google organizations. The company wants to offer an easy, efficient, and secure backup and recovery solution to their employees. Therefore, they select the Acronis Backup Cloud as one of the most innovative and reliable data protection solutions available in the market. Let's start with the setting up process. We assume that you've already purchased a subscription license for the Acronis Backup Cloud from your local service provider. It should be noted that the prices for the Acronis Backup Cloud are very affordable, even for small or novice companies, whereas the advantages outweigh the cost. Along with the license, you will get a link, username, and password for the so-called Acronis Backup Console. This is a sophisticated web-based tool that you can use to trace and manage all your backup and recovery operations. We assume that your company has two Google organizations and you have all the required credentials for those organizations. Log in to the Acronis Backup Console as a company administrator. And press the Add button in the upper right corner. Navigate to the Applications and select G Suite. As soon as you press the Open Marketplace button, you will be forwarded to the G Suite Marketplace. Press the Sign In button in the upper right corner and provide the super admin credentials for your Google organization. Press the Domain Install button. Read through carefully and accept the backup service agreement to proceed to the next step. As soon as the application is installed, press the Launch button. You'll be forwarded back to the Backup Console. The Acronis Backup Cloud will start registering your Google organization and discovering and importing its resources such as Gmail mailboxes, calendars, contacts, and user and team drives. Depending on the size of your organization, this operation might take some time. You can trace the progress in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. As soon as the resources are discovered, you can access them through the Acronis Backup Cloud user interface. Repeat the same steps and register the second Google organization in the Backup Console.
That's it with setting up. See you in the next video.